Hey, hello, my name is Andres from Wondershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. And today, we're gonna talk again about new features in Filmora 14. Yeah, you heard that right. We have a lot of new features, and these ones are gonna blow your mind, and they're gonna help your life as a video creator much better. So let's jump right in. So let's say that you have the perfect footage. This is a really good idea. That's so good. But the mic, yeah, I don't know, it didn't do its job and it didn't catch a good audio, so you need to clean it up a bit, right? What you can do is to use the new AI voice enhancer to make a quick fix on the audio to solve the problem. This is a really good actually. Yeah, That's... I really like that video. Hey, 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 attention all content creators, the smart short clip feature is finally here. With just a couple of clicks, it will analyze your footage, reframe it. Find the highlight moments, add subtitles, music, sound effects, stickers, and even generate a video title. Let's dive in. Here is some footage from my reaction video. I'm uploading it to Filmora, but you can also paste a link directly. In the project info tab, you will select your video language, the desired length, and the theme. For this video, I'm choosing podcast, and since there are three people talking, I'll select the multiplayer show theme. Then click generate. Filmora will create four different versions of the highlighted clips. I love it. You can even use the Smart Scene Cut feature by itself, which automatically selects the best highlights for you. And if you need background music only, well, the Smart Background Music Generation has you covered as well. Yeah, you heard that right. Smart Scene Cut and Smart Background Music Generation are features that you can actually use them by themselves. How cool is that? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The new magnetic timeline is finally here, allowing you to snap your clips and organize your project timelines better. If you are working with multiple clips and maybe you have set up a lot of keyframes, here is how to use this new feature. Here's a quick tip. To modify the curves or get a clear view of your graph, simply right click on the clip and enable show keyframe animation. A handy little window will pop up with a graph with an option to easily apply ease in and ease out effects to your clips. You can now easily track your project's progress and the AI's creation process in the top right corner of your screen. Keep an eye out for the green check mark which will appear once the task is complete. And that's it, which is a lot, but that's it for now. Let us know which features do you like the most and yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on the channel. Keep reading and I'll see you next time.